Shalom, shalom. In today's video, man, I want to talk to my women out here that think men, good men, care about their beauty, their external adorning. Let's talk about it. Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another Righteous Spiritful episode. Today I'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business. Man, there's a woman out there that thinks she is a 10, but in all reality, she's a negative five. And she is hoping that she's able to catch her husband based upon her beauty, okay? Based upon her body, based upon her good looks, based upon her sex appeal. You know, there's a woman out there sitting in front of that makeup vanity, doing the same thing Jezebel did, sitting up there painting her face, and she's thinking that, oh man, this is gonna get me the attention of a good man. You know, this, these eyelashes, these nails, this hair, this weave, these wigs. And I'm here today to let you in on a little secret. I'm here to, I'm here to let you help you out. I told you I'm here, I'm gonna help you out. See, when a man thinks about entertaining a woman, he thinks about, okay, will this woman be a disruption of the peace that I already have? So as much as much as women put into their exterior externally adorning themselves, I want you to realize that that in itself does not bring a man peace. Your beauty in itself does not bring a man peace, does not enhance a man's peace. See, a good man is going to look at your beauty through your behavior. What are your behavioral patterns like? How do you conduct yourself as a woman? See, a woman that can conduct herself and behave in a modest, meek, feminine, submissive manner, oh, that's a beautiful woman. See, to worldly women, a modest and meek woman, you know, submissive woman, you think just because she doesn't, okay, she doesn't have on these high heels, she doesn't have her lashes done, you know, she doesn't have on this mascara, this good makeup, these good nails and good hair, you think she's not putting up points on the board. And it's the exact opposite. So I want you to remember that because this is why a man can see how you act and want nothing to do with you won't commit to you because your behavior, your conduct. You know, I'll tell you, as a good man, I don't wanna be around a woman that gossips. Why? Because it's how she chooses to spend her time is worthless. You see what I'm saying? I don't have time in this lifetime to worry about what everybody else got going on and did you hear this and did you hear that? No. So the beauty is truly in a woman's behavior, you know, how she conducts herself. And then if a woman has righteous conduct, righteous behavior, it's gonna show through to her exterior. So oftentimes when men look at you and you think you, you think you uh, are just drop dead gorgeous and fine. This is why a lot of good men don't pay you no mind. We can see based upon your exterior that your behavior and conduct is a little bit off. Is a little bit off. And for that reason, we don't want our peace disrupted by that. No matter how fine you think you are, you might think you attend, but when a man is having to, you know, deal with a contentious woman, 
the last thing he could deal, the last thing he could care about is her doggone beauty. That's the last thing. How fine she is and all of this, a big booty. When she in there wreaking havoc in his life and disturbing his peace. So I just wanted to let you in on that little secret for those women out there that don't know this. Because some women don't know this. They think they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna have all of the, the the curb appeal, you know, into their in their beauty, in their sex appeal. And no, a man is looking at you. If you dress like a harlot, it's pretty much guaranteed that you got harlot behavior. You know, if you dress like a a a, a hoe, a three hundred four, it's pretty much guaranteed that you got three hundred four activity and type behavior and conduct. You know. When, when a man looks at a woman with all these piercings on her face and nose rings and all of that, when you look at the history of that, it's rebellion. So a man will look at it and say, oh, okay, because you are rebelling on the outside, and this is what this is historically known as, you got some conduct that is rebellious. And for that reason, a man will pass on you. See, a man is not going based upon his feelings, emotion. It's based upon logic. Because once I commit to you, I have to assume responsibility for you. The most high y'all puts that on me, puts that on men. That if I commit myself to you, you know, in a union, I have to be responsible for your actions, for your conduct. See, a lot of men look at you and you are not a good representation of their character. You are not a good representation of their values, of what they stand on, what they stand for. And for that reason, they pass. Now, the righteous set apart women, they understand what I'm saying. But the worldly women, it's gonna, it's gonna sound like I'm speaking a bunch of gibberish. Close to the Yah Ministries kicking it, gun barrel straight. Wow.